afternoon God has given us so that we may come and praise him. Uh, this is going to be a habit and a routine that every Wednesday we are here to praise the Lord and also take advantage of that chance to give testimony because I believe God has done one thing or the other unto our lives. And even also giving a testimony if you have Jesus in your heart. Because if Jesus comes today and you have him, definitely you'll go to paradise with him. I want to share the word of God from uh, the book of uh, Luke. The book of Luke chapter number 6. Number 6 and verses uh, 47. Uh, let me begin for, 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 for verse 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation upon the rock. And when a flood arose and the stream broke against that house, that could not shake it because it has been well built. 49. But he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without foundation, against which the stream broke, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you may use me uh, to speak to this brethren this afternoon as you wish. Let me not speak my mind, but I speak that which is your will in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to share the word of God briefly under the title, Building Our Lives on Farm Foundation. Building Our Lives on Farm Foundation. Maybe you can help me say those words. Building, building our lives on farm foundations. Thank you. Uh, the Bible speaks of uh, the time Jesus asked, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? Then everyone who comes to me and hears my word and does it, Jesus says, I will show you what is he. He is like a man who built a house and actually goes ahead to dig it deep so that the foundation will be on a rock. And when we are digging deep, this must be hard work, this must be commitment, and this commitment is... Uh, uh, calling for a firm foundation. I want to say that in this particular analogy Jesus is giving, he is not literally talking about building a house or building a building. He is talking about building our lives on firm foundation. Because he begins by saying, everyone who hears my word, and does it, he's like a man who is building a house on a firm foundation. So this particular afternoon, I want to let you know that we have to build our lives. Jesus is not just talking about building a building, but we have to build our life on a firm foundation. And building our lives on firm foundation is actually building it on the Word of God. Is actually building it on what? The Word of God. 
The word of God is the firm foundation. Life is full of choices. It is full of thoughts and decisions. But the decisions we make in life should be informed by the word of God. Because it is the choices that we make in life, it is the decisions that we make in life, it is the actions that we make in life that build our lives. But then Jesus is saying, our lives, uh, uh, if it's going to be a, uh, on a firm foundation, must be built on nothing else but the rock. And the rock is the word of God. Why did Jesus say so? Point number one, every one of us is building a life by decisions that we make and uh, actions that we take. But all those actions, for them to be truly on a firm foundation, they have to be informed by the word of God. Number two, Jesus is like giving a warning because storms of life will inevitably eat our lives. For these two houses, one is made by a wise man who built on a firm foundation. The other one is on a weak foundation. Those who refuse to follow the word of God, those who refuse to stand on the word of God, those who reject their choices, their actions being uh, informed by the word of God, they are like men who are built on a weak foundation. And now that storms of life are inevitably going to hit our lives, then we must not have any other choice other than uh, building our lives on the word of God. Storms will come. One time you'll be called. You are told this and this has happened. We have children in our schools. Something has happened. We have relatives from uh, other places. And you receive a call. A storm has hit your sister, your brother, your father, your mother. I remember when I received the call that my father and my mother has gotten an accident. I was so disturbed. Storms will come. I was so down. But... If you build your life on firm foundation, even when these storms will come, we shall stand, brethren. And I came to declare that those who will stand on the Lord, those who will stand on the word of God, those who will pray, those who will lead the word of God, they will not be shaken by anything that will come against their lives. And the Bible says well that uh, those who trust in the Lord and not lean on their own understanding, they will never be put to shame. And that is why we need to embrace the word of God, that we, uh, the word of God is the solid rock that cannot sink no matter what you are going through. And number three, we build our lives on Christ. <clears throat> and how do we build our lives on Christ? By hearing the word of God. So I am urging us brethren and colleagues. Let us be men and women. Who will embrace the word of God. People who will desire to hear the word of God. And not only to hear it. To do it. Because when you hear it and do it. You are building your life. On a firm foundation. That can never be shaken. By whatever storm will come on our lives. Have we sometimes lost hope? Have we sometimes reached the end when we are going through tough times? It could be we need to go back to the foundation. And the foundation is, have we hidden the word of God in our hearts? The foundation is, are we prayerful? The foundation is, do we meditate the word of God daily? Or we are, we, are, we, are, we are busy on other things. When we wake up, 
Do we consider telling God about our day? And my prayer is, as colleagues, that we are going to be people who have time for the word of God. We are going to be people who are prayerful. And I'm praying that our, our time and season that we are going to be here, we are going to have more prayerful people. And I'm praying that the appetite for prayer will come. I'm sure in our staff room, the appetite for politics and discussion is so high. But I'm praying that the appetite for the word of God will be equally high. And that is the only way we shall build a firm foundation. And I believe when you are building your life on the word of God, somehow your conscience will be strong. Even when you are just about to do something wrong, the firm foundation, the word of God, will take you back to the trap. When you feel like abusing or fighting somebody, or being envious about somebody, the word of God, the firm foundation, will take you back to the trap. I'm praying that we shall have a school colleagues who are their prayer life is so strong their, their daily devotion is so strong colleagues and, and, and brethren who spare time to have uh, what we call quiet, quiet time to study the word of God to, 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 to meditate to memorize the scripture that when we are meeting storms we shall be saying the word of God, that the God who started a good work in me, he will bring it into completion. No we conformed against me that shall prosper. What is coming inside us, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So I'm praying that we will build a firm foundation by sparing time for the Lord. And with that, I pray that this fellowship will not dry off. The Bible says the devil comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But imagine if we have the firm foundation. He will not steal anything that is of our life. He will not destroy anything. The reason why the devil is capable of doing that is because Christians have built a weak foundation. May we build a strong foundation. When the word of God is in our hearts, the devil will not come to destroy our family. Show me a family that is sturdy. I will show you a family has built a, a, a strong foundation. You need, if it is in your family, perhaps you have never had time to pray. You need to create time. Perhaps you have never had a Bible study with your husband. You need to create that time. And I tell you, no matter what storm will hit your family, you will be strong. If there comes disease, if there comes a catastrophe, you will stand. You will stand. Even if one of your members might go to ICU or your father like me, you will stand. You will stand. You will stand. And finally, building a firm foundation. I want you to go and meditate on scripture that is in Ephesians 6. Putting full armor of God. And one of them, it is these prayers that we have created. Praying without ceasing. Leading the word of God. Hamlet of salvation. I want you to go and meditate on that scripture. I think uh, faith is also there. That is the firm foundation we are talking about. Please let's not give up even when we have few colleagues attending this. Because... When it comes to building your life, you have to make an independent choice. <clears throat> so don't look at the number. Even if we are two or three, let this fellowship not fail. Let it not fail. Let these prayers not fail. And that is my request. And that will be the firm foundation that we are talking about. In one time or the other, one of us will have challenge. But we shall be strong if we have built our lives on firm foundation. I think uh, I want to stop there and I pray that you remember that every one of us is building a line by what we choose, what we act uh, uh, and how we act and the choices that we make. These choices 
let them be informed by the word of God and the Holy Spirit. So if you want to start a business, tell God to guide you. Ask the Holy Spirit. Should I go ahead and do it? If you want to do A, ask. Let, let you receive a conviction from the word of God or from the Holy Spirit. And that's the foundation we are talking about. And when the storms will come, we will be strong. We will not faint. We will not fail. Because those who trust in the name of the Lord, they will soar like eagles. They will not fail. They will not be discouraged. Though we may be pressed on every side, we will not be crushed. Though we may be perplexed, but we will not live in desperation. And that is my prayer. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you and we honor your holy name. As a school and as colleagues, we want to build a firm foundation, Lord. When we walk with you, no area of our lives that will fail. Our commitment to teach these boys, if we are truly walking with you, there must be results. We can't fail in our commitment to do what we are supposed to do. Lord, if we are truly in, on your word, our families cannot fail. We cannot have disunity in our family. We can't have quarrels in, your, in our families, my God. Father, if we are truly on you, we cannot experience lack of peace because we have the Holy Spirit who gives us the joy, the joy that, that does not come from circumstances, but the joy that is given by the Holy Spirit. If we are truly in you, Lord, no matter what we are going through, we always rise above imperfections. And that is why we need to engage you. We need to have a relationship with you. We need to study the word of uh, your word every day. Any one of us whose prayer life has gone dry, I pray and release the spirit of prayers, my Father. Both corporate and individual prayers, my Father. Those who have not formed the habit of studying your word, my God, I pray for the appetite of the word that may flow, O oh God. My God, I pray, nothing will separate us from you. Nothing will separate us. No trouble, no storm that will separate us from you. And that is our prayer, my Father. Anybody who is going through a tough time, possibly someone is in a storm, is in a season where there is pain, maybe from the family, my Father. Maybe a family member is sick. Maybe there is continuous finances of uh, requiring to be used in hospital and somebody is discouraged. My God, through this storm, I pray that my Father, you encourage this brethren. You encourage this colleague, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And more so, help every one of us to stand on the word of God. And when we do so, no matter what storm we go through, we shall always be strong. Help us to put the full armor of God. Thy that have not accepted you, accept you. Thy that have not have been walking by sight, begin walking by faith. Thy that have not been praying, begin praying. Thy that have not taken the shield of faith, they take it, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory. Give us unity. Give us oneness as a school. And we pray that even this fellowship will not dry off. This prayer time will not dry off. The word of God will not dry off. That is our prayer in Jesus' name. And it is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Amen.